Welcome to the Soulmate Twin Flame Journey for May 21st, the week of May 21st. This is for different groups of you going through the Soulmate Journey. Some of you have just started your journey recently, just met your soulmate, while others of you have been dealing with your soulmate for two or more years. We're going to take a look at what's actually going on in specific situations. I'll give you a time frame of when this journey is in this particular one, give you some insight to help you gain some clarity, to help with some of that confusion that you're going through because as I call it, it's an invisible karmic cloak that's over you where you can see the outline, but you cannot see the detail. So I'm gonna try and help you with that. Keep in mind this does coordinate with what's happening with the X to give you a little bit more insight. So check that out as well. And I will start this one off and finish it off, uh, finish it up on the Vimeo side and look at another group of you at that time as well. So we have the Page of Swords, the Chariot, Page of Pentacles. Some of you are are in a really good place right now. You may be looking at your soulmate on the internet. The Page of Swords is about communication coming through. It's about a message coming through, but it also can indicate looking on social media. And I know some readers call it spying and I, and I personally don't feel it spying because if it's on Facebook or social media, that means it's out there for everybody to look at. So that's not really spying to me. But what I'm seeing is what they're showing me is there are there is a group of you where you're actually looking on the internet. You haven't been speaking with your soulmate for Six months. They're telling me you have not had communication in approximately six months, give or take a little bit. And this journey that we're looking at right now, they're telling me is uh, 22 months, right around 22 months. So just shy of a year time or two year time frame. You're looking because you haven't seen your soulmate, you haven't spoke with them, and I'm seeing that you have not even sent them a message yet, but you are contemplating it. You're feeling this urge inside of you, and it's an urge, although you've been able to not communicate because we have a runner and a chaser. I'm gonna view you who's watching this video as the chaser. You're feeling this urge to contact them, and you've been holding back, but you keep feeling that pull. It's like, is is God telling me to call him or contact her? Am I being guided to reach out? And the universe is saying, they want you to focus on your life. They want you to continue what you're doing and move forward. I'm being shown that you're doing a lot of uh, work on your healing. You are not completely done yet. And the universe is saying, continue to heal, okay? And don't worry, everything is gonna fall into place exactly the way it's meant to. Now, for some of you, you may be starting a brand new opportunity, and it is regarding your finances. You may actually be starting your own business, and it could be an internet type of a business. So you've really been working on yourself, which is good, that's absolutely perfect. Now your soulmate, <clears throat> we have the Queen of Wands, the Sun card, and the Five of Wands. The Queen of Wands is a very confident individual. This is a person who knows exactly what they want. And they are following their passion. It's almost like through the sun. This is about the inner growth. They also are going through the same healing that you are. Remember, soulmates come together with that incredible connection and somebody says or does something that triggers the other person to pull away and then the other one, so both people pull away, they can fight and come back and back and forth and back and forth. Um, the healing has to be done separate and that's exactly what's taken place right now in this particular journey for that group of you. They've been enlightened, they've been hearing the messages and I know you've been wondering do they see what I see? Are they seeing the synchronicities? Are they hearing those voices like I hear? Can they feel the angels? And the answer is yes. Yes, they can. 
they have got it, they've been enlightened, they understand this is something spiritual. They knew that connection was there between the two of you, but now they understand, okay, this isn't just a connection. There's something deeper here, but what? As they have gone through their journey, they've been enlightened on what their true life purpose is, what their spiritual path is. They have been brought to align the soul with their external person. So they're really doing a great, great job, and so are you. Both of you are doing well. Now, your soulmate actually has the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands is really a, a you know, this is internal combat battling within ourselves this is battling with other people so there's some struggle that they're dealing with right now and it may be to actually stand in alignment with what their passion is what their real purpose is um yep so what they're saying is they also are a little bit fearful they're wondering about you they may be looking at you on social media as well they're wondering are you involved with other people? And for this group, I'm seeing that you're not. You're really focused on your finances, but your soulmate doesn't know that because you're not in contact. So even though they have a newfound beginning stage, working its way up to a mature stage of confidence, they're doing well, but they are apprehensive right now. So what we're gonna do at this point is I'm gonna pull a couple cards and I'll get a little further into detail on this reading and I will take a look at another group of you on Vimeo as well. If you click the link below to Vimeo, when you get there, please scroll all the way down to the bottom, select the correct date and you will be able to continue this reading. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the other side. Much love.